Hoy en la Vuelta a España, etapa 6, jueves 24 de agosto, Villarreal a Sagunto, 198 kilómetros. Ah, didn't know I could do that, did you? Well, I can. Today was predicted to be a relatively simple stage, but in actual fact, it definitely was not. There was some serious action taking place on stage 6 of the Tour of Spain, and keep watching to find out more. From stage six, coming at you very soon. Stop drawing! I'm just painting Bob Youngles and Maxime Monfort, who have managed to break away from the breakaway and peel off and go up ahead on the road. In this picture, I'm trying to portray the nature of the landscape, but mainly the movement actually here. That is what I think is really important. There's, there's something about seeing two riders really go for it, and you can see Maxi Monfort on the front with his elbows down low in that kind of time trial position. And I, I love the way they're zooming along together as this compact unit, and that's what I wanted to portray. As well as the harsh sunlight you were seeing in Spain, a lot of the images have very dark shadows anywhere where there could possibly be a shadow. So the the arms, legs, and the front of the body are all almost always in shadow and the top is is always lit up really quite brightly and I'm very happy with this I'm liking how I'm just putting down the shadows now and that really creates a 3d effect and something else I'm trying out is this whoosh whoosh effect which I use which you can see putting the paper down on wet ink it has to be still wet and then just pushing down and pushing across the piece of card and what's important here is to not splodge it to heavily and also to not distract from the main elements of the picture. I'm just sketching out the beginning of Ian Stannard here who has that really trademark kind of low down style. He's a big unit is Ian Stannard and I actually know someone who bumped into him on the road cycling in Monaco and they said they saw him and it was almost like he didn't have the top half of his body from behind because he's so flat he looks like, like a pair of legs cycling along and you can see that here and Sean Kelly and Carlton Kirby the Eurosport commentators were commentating on how commenting on how he's a diesel engine here I'm really getting someone with this new style of leaving things out and being suggestive with the background just with these blobs of color it's quite difficult having the confidence to just go with it and just allow that minimal amount of suggestion to depict the the bigger picture but what is useful about that is that firstly it creates an exciting image. Image. Secondly, it you know it departs from the realm of photos. What's the point if you can just have photos? What's the point of my paintings? And so I'm trying to say something more. And this I think adds to the movement. And it's almost like these bushes are kind of flying off in the air, creating that sense of him whooshing forwards. I really like this picture. He looks so compact. That back leg shadow is absolutely brilliant. I love it as well as the, the pose, it's really well captured. And I also like the minimalism of his face. I haven't gone too heavy on the details, just a suggestion of what he looks like, and I think that's sufficient. What more is there to say about Alberto Contador? He lost a hell of a lot of time on stage three, I'm gonna say, and that I thought that was it, and it was really quite sad, and he was obviously very upset with himself as well. But then stage five yesterday, so the day before today, this is today's stage, um, he really showed up. He did something quite spectacular, and today as well, he's, he's just going on the attack. Where's this coming from? I do not understand. And on the final ramp of the day, it wasn't near the end, there's a big downhill and then a flat at the end, but on the final uphill, he really pushed it, and only Froome and Chavez were able to stay with him really, really close. The other riders didn't get completely detached, but they struggled to keep the pace. And Contador's really showing his hand and, and really pushing it and being aggressive, which is absolutely brilliant to see. If you, in case you don't know, it's his final Grand Tour, his final bike race, which is really quite sad. It's the end of an era. This guy is an absolute legend. And seeing his frame really giving it something and trying to push away from the other riders was a real... Oh, it just The, the hope surges up from within you. So, Contador, Goro. Finally, just... To get a shot of the the final showdown and the eventual winner, uh, Mazinski, Polish guy. The story behind this, 
is that there was a breakaway and Luis Leon Sanchez, who was in that breakaway, f- saw the peloton catching up from behind them. He looked around, he's a really experienced rider. He thought, you know, they were actually within six or seven seconds. He thought, I'm just going to peel off and not and save my energy. The peloton's going to catch us. Then it, someone from that big group is going to win the stage. And I, I'm hoping if I save my energy, it's going to be me. Leon Sanchez goes back. The guys, the three remaining breakaway riders, they pull ahead again. And <laughs> so Leon uh, Sanchez was absolutely kicking himself, which must have been seriously frustrating. And ultimately, it was Majinski, this 33-year-old veteran of the sport who I've never heard of, who pulled away in the sprint and won quite quite um, convincingly for Poland. So that's quite a short set of uh, paintings from me today. I'm really focusing on the quality here because I'm uh, there's a breakthrough. I'm having a breakthrough with my style, as you can possibly see, and something is coming out which I'm really, really enjoying, and the whole process of developing is really exciting for me. So I'm going with that in preference of getting every little scene to tell the entire story. And I hope you like that. If you don't, leave it in the comment sections below. I want to hear everything you say, uh, everything you think, because it really guides my work, because I'm doing it for you, and you're part of this whole process. When I, when I paint, I literally think of the people who I'm painting for, so you're integral to it all. And another reason why I'm focusing more on the quality as opposed to the quantity is that I'm actually going to start selling these. You heard it here first. They're not on sale yet. I will put them up soon and you will all know about it. And if you want to be the first to know, go to captainsmithdesign.com and sign up to the mailing list. I, I don't send out that many uh, emails yet, but I will start doing them during the Vuelta. So you get every day you get an update of the stage and an overview of my paintings, including a video on YouTube and also all the paintings and a link to the website um, just to sort of keep you up to date with what I'm doing. So go to the website, captainsmithdesigning.com, sign up to the email peloton, and we'll be in touch so you'll get first dibs on the paintings, because obviously, unlike prints, which I'm also going to start selling, there's only one of them. So you're going to have to get in there quick. I'll release them at a set time, but if you're subscribed to the mailing list, you'll know about it first. Normally, this section would be a GC update after stage six, but there were no big movements on the characters that I've picked out. Look at me. Dude just went past, he said, bright as day. I think he was referring to my lovely pink kitty wit. <laughs> I'm cycling through Regent's Park. I just done two laps of the outside rim, and yeah, it feels good, man. I, can, I actually can feel the the efforts I put in at the gym expressing themselves through the tree trunks that are my legs right now, and I feel a lot more powerful than I did even two months ago. Maybe it's in my head. I'm just being inspired by Contador. But this is, this is my daily ride day six of the 30-30 challenge. Here I am, in my room, eating. I don't want to pour it on the floor while I show you. Show that. Yeah. Melon, pineapple, melon again, watermelon, regular melon. And that's it. The watermelon's delicious, even though it's irrelevant for you. Unless you want some. Here you go, have some. There you go. Nah. As I eat this fruit, I'm thinking about how good it is for me. I hate it when people eat on camera. I'm sorry. The juice is the best part. Did I tell you I got a shout out from Eurosport? <laughs> just a few moments ago, Captain Smith, the uh, tweet the captain, have a look. I've actually just followed him and I've just retweeted him as well. 
because um, that's as deft a piece of watercolouring as you can imagine. He builds himself, and uh, quite rightly too, as the unofficial artist of the Tour de France and the Vuelta. And uh, that is a good effort, so um, thank you, my friend. I uh, very much appreciate seeing that. I'm going to put it up there for some of you others to enjoy.